Fringe in the mainstream 2017 Fringe Festival The festival brings unusual theatrical, improv, music, spoken word and dance offerings at multiple venues throughout Philadelphia Sept. 723. See www.fringars.com for the complete schedule and ticket information. Finale for Summerill and Town Fairgrounds The fair continues noon to 11 p.m. through September 3rd and noon to 10 p.m. Labor Day Monday at 302 N17th Street, Allentown. Grandstand highlights include Rascal Flat September 1st Pentatonix September 2nd Tito Nieves, Ivy Queen and Jose Alberto September 3rd and the JJ Demolition Derby September 4th. The fair is also home to the annual Lehigh County 4-H Livestock Sale. Additional outdoor attractions include the 4-H Petting Zoo, an antique tractor display and Lil Farm Hands, an activity center where kids can play and learn what it's like to be a farmer. Inside the Agriplex is more than 9,000 entries competing for blue ribbons for things that are grown, sewn, cooked, created and collected. There will also be culinary and interactive contests for foodies and arts and crafts lovers. Other highlights include an Iron Chef competition, grain-to-glass demonstrations of local, seasonal ingredients in distilled spirits, the Nerveless Noxal American Thrill Show, America's Got Talent Season 6 quarter-finalist Dan Mink performing stunt horse roping and knife throwing, Robinson's Pig Paddling Porkers, Food and Craft Beers, Acoustic Musicians, Scott's Future of Magic, New Odyssey, Three Guys 30 Instruments, The Marvelous Mutt's Canine Spectacular, Lou's Brotherhood, Attractions Commemorating the 100th Anniversary anniversary of the Allentown Fairgrounds, a carnival midway and more. Admission is $8, free to children 12 and under and to all from noon to 2 p.m. September 1st. Parking is $10. All day ride wristbands are $22. Visit www.allentownfair.com. University of Pennsylvania Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology The Summer Nights series wraps up September 6 at 5 p.m. with Jordanian musical ambassadress Farah Siraj. She performs her original compositions, effusing influences of Middle Eastern music, flamenco, jazz, bossa nova and pop, with lyrics in Arabic, Spanish and English. Admission is $10. Also, opening September 9th, and continuing through March is the exhibit What in the World Early Television Meets the World of Archaeology, 19,501,966, which looks back at the CBS TV series that was hosted by Penn Museum director Frolic Rainey. Featuring photographs, letters, other documents and video clips from surviving episodes, the exhibition looks back at the game show that featured such famous people as actor Vincent Price, artist Jack Lipschitz and anthropologist Carlton Kuhn. The museum is at 3260 South Street, Philadelphia. Get hours and admission rates at www.pen.museum at 215-898-4000, Circus Week Morris Arboretum at Circus Week in the Garden Railway through September 4. Watch as model railroad cars filled with elephants, clowns and bears navigate 15 rail lines with loops, tunnels and bridges. The Morris Arboretum of the University of Pennsylvania is at 100 East Northwestern Avenue, Philadelphia. For more information, visit www.morrisarboretum.org. Parkway, Party Moore College of Art and Design Moore is joining its neighbors along Philadelphia's Benjamin Franklin Parkway in launching the 100th anniversary celebration of the Parkway 6 to 9 p.m. September 8th at 20th Street in the Parkway. Stroll the galleries at Moore and go back to the time of Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, Jelly Roll Morton and the Jazz Age Greats with live music by Drew Nugent The Midnight Society. Admission is free. For more on the Parkway celebration, check www.parkway100.org. Creature features Norris Town Farm Park The Eastern Coyote at Norris Town Farm Park explains how the Eastern Coyote has quietly colonized the city and suburbs of Philadelphia at 6.30 p.m. September 3rd. The talk will be followed by a walk in the park. This free program is appropriate for adults and children ages 6 and older. Meet at the park office. Learn about the diversity of insects form and function at 1 p.m. September 6. Join the park staff in searching for insects in the meadow. Play a game and make an insect craft. This event is appropriate for children 3 and older with an adult. Cost is $5 per child. Meet at the pavilion. Pre-registration is required by calling 610-2700215. The park is at Barley Sheaf Drive in Germantown Pike, East Norriton. 
Get Moving King of Prussia Volunteer Fire Company The 6th Annual KPVFC 911 Memorial 5K One Mile Walk Happens September 9th at the Firehouse 170 Allendale Road, Upper Merion. Registration opens at 730 a.m., and the run begins at 9. Visit www.kpvfc.com for online registration and more information. Food, Wine, Beer Plymouth Country Club Greater Norristown Police Athletic League sponsors the 17th Annual Food and Wine Festival and Craft Beer Garden event 5 to 9 p.m. September 7 at 888 Plymouth Road, Plymouth Township. The event includes entertainment and advance tickets are $60, $65 at the door. Go to www.greaternorristownpal.org. Car Show Norristown Main at Chalk Club The 5th Annual Norristown Police Thomas Barone Memorial Car Show will be held September 3rd at the club, 920 Hawes Avenue, Norristown. Proceeds support the Thomas Barone Scholarship Fund Fraternal Order of Police No. 31. Good Day Philadelphia Traffic Anchor Bob Selly will be making a personal appearance. All cars, motorcycles and trucks are welcome. Registration is $20. Registration is from 9 to 11 a.m. with the show beginning at 11 and ending at 3. This is a free event and open to the public. Professional judging will determine awards for excellence, top 40 and best in class. Breakfast sandwiches, coffee and donuts will be offered beginning at 8 a.m. There will also be lunch, beverages, music and raffle baskets. Contact Rich at 610-585-7115 or race each 3 at verizon.net. Also, visit www.norristownmarenachore.com or www.everycarshow.com. Time to learn Philadelphia Honey Festival How important are honeybees to our environment, food supply and our economy The 8th Philadelphia Honey Festival is held September 7, 9 and 10 at three historic sites, Glenford on the Delaware, Grant Avenue and Milner Street, Philadelphia Wick Historic House, 6026 Germantown Avenue, Philadelphia and Bartram's Garden, 54th Street and Lindbergh Boulevard, Philadelphia. Activities include open hive demonstrations, honey extractions, children's activities, honey tastings, mead tastings, a presentation by the Philadelphia Insectarium and a bee bearding demonstration. Each venue will also have additional activities, such as a live G-Town radio broadcast from the Wick Historic House, a Philly farm truck at Glenford, and parks on Tap Junior at Bartram's Garden. Admission to the festival venues, educational activities and demonstrations is free. Learn more at www.phillyhoneyfest.com. Colonial Pennsylvania Plantation Back to School Science Day runs 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Last admission at 3 September 2nd. Colonial American use science daily, from baking, to getting water from the well, to dyeing clothes. Conduct your own scientific experiments, such as dyeing a handkerchief using indigo and madder root, churning butter, using simple machines to perform chores, using a tape measure to calculate the weight of our oxen, and more. To find the plantation, please use GPS address 3900 North Sandy Flash Drive, Newtown Square. Admission is $10, $6 for children 412. Visit www.colonialplantation.org. Museum of the American Revolution over Labor Day weekend, 930 a.m. to 6 p.m. September the 24th, children 12 and under will receive free admission to the museum at 101 S. 3rd Street, Philadelphia. Every child also will receive a free back to school packet, including colored pencils, an eraser, a mini historic themed coloring book and a pocket-sized Declaration of Independence. From 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. special activities and storytelling that explores the role of children in the revolution will take place in the first floor Patriots Gallery. Activity sheets will examine what schooling was like in the 18th century. Also from 11 to 4 p.m. kids of all ages can try on revolutionary-inspired clothing, design a flag, decode secret messages, make a sash like General George Washington's to take home and practice drilling like a revolutionary soldier. On the outdoor plaza, kids can decide if they would enlist as a summer soldier or sailor. From 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at a mobile discovery cart, visitors are invited to choose a branch of service and sign their name to a takeaway card that features a privateership letter of Marcus Soldier's enlistment notice. Visitors can also hold replica objects representing the two most common choices for military service in the Revolutionary War. Kids can then learn more about their newly assigned role at the Battlefield Theatre and privateer ship inside the museum. 
See www.amrevmuseum.org. Go on an adventure. Rosemont College Lawrence Gallery presents a new exhibit featuring the paintings of Alice O, titled Adaptation Equilibrium. Check it out. Sept. 7 October 12th. An opening reception will take place 4 to 7 p.m. September 7th, with an informal gallery talk at 430. The college is at 1400 Montgomery Avenue, Rosemont. Gallery hours are 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. weekdays. Goggle Works Center for the Arts Retrospective, an exhibition by John Elder will be in the Irvin Lewis Cohen Gallery from Sept. 1 October 15. An opening reception will be held in the Cohen Gallery 530 to 730 p.m. September 1. The evening will also include a full course preview, where guests can meet several of the artist instructors. Visit several teaching studios, watch them demonstrate their technique and get your questions answered. The Goggle Works is at 201 Washington Street, Reading. It's open daily from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Admission is free. Plan your visit at www.goggleworks.org.